Today is March the 10th. How important is tradition? Let's find out together as we read several passages from the middle of Jesus' ministry. Today, as we read through the Bible in a year, I'd like you to read Matthew chapter 14 from verse 22 to chapter 15, verse 20. Then look at the same paragraphs in Mark. Mark 6, 45 to 7, 23. You'll find that first paragraph repeated in John chapter 6 from 16 to 21. There are three primary paragraphs in the passages that we looked at today across three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and John. We see Jesus walking on water. This was immediately following the feeding of the 5,000. Jesus sent his disciples to cross the Sea of Galilee on ahead of him. He followed them, and he followed them in a straight line. He walked on water to get to them. When uh, they saw him, they thought he was a ghost. They cry out in fear. Jesus gets into the boat and he says, why were you afraid? Why did you doubt? The next paragraph talks about sick people brought to Jesus so Jesus could heal them. And then we're going to look primarily at Mark, Jesus talks about the Pharisees. In Mark chapter 7, verse 1, one day some Pharisees and teachers of religious law arrived from Jerusalem to see Jesus. They noticed that some of his disciples failed to follow the Jewish ritual of hand washing before eating. They questioned Jesus on that, say, why don't your followers adhere to our tradition. And this is the perfect opportunity for Jesus to talk about what tradition is. Now, Jesus was not anti-tradition. There were some traditions that Jesus followed. In fact, the very night before he was crucified, we find him celebrating the Jewish Passover. But here, Jesus says this tradition has no value. First of all, it doesn't come from the Word of God. The Word of God never talks about the hand-washing tradition in the same way that the Pharisees presented it. He brings up to them other traditions that they have, traditions that by following the tradition, they actually disobey God's word. Jesus finishes by saying, it's not what goes into your body that defiles you. You're defiled by what comes from the heart. The disciples question him about that and Jesus says, don't you understand, it's not what you intake. Mark makes the comment here. In saying this, he declared every kind of food acceptable in God's eyes. And then Jesus added, it's what comes out of you from inside that defiles you. Verse 21, for from within, out of a person's heart come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, wickedness, deceit, lustful desires, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these vile things come from within. They are what defile you. How important is tradition? When tradition gets in the way of God's word, it's to be discarded. After that, tradition is okay, but it is no substitute for faith. 
We look to Jesus. We look to His Word for our faith. Please like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll ask the question, how much does a little white lie actually hurt?